Hey, Randy. For a while, I thought spring was on its way. We did that whole spring forward thing with our clocks and everything. But it's back to being 30 degrees outside. I guess I shouldn't be surprised given our recent videos about chaos. Nothing's predictable anymore. But either way, I thought it would be good to do some spring cleaning. I haven't done much with my Lego room in a long while, mainly because we're in an apartment and always thought there was a good chance we'd move out at some point. But we're still here. I think I'll start with my Lego boxes. I made a video before about how I saved them, and I don't really know why. I just hate to see them go to waste, really. But I don't have any use for them. I guess I'll list them on Craigslist or something, and hopefully they'll go off to a good home. Then we've got this big pile of unopened Lego sets. Now let's be real. I'm not going to voluntarily get rid of any Legos, but I thought it would be interesting to see which sets I might be okay with parting with if I had to. Probably this Star Wars one. I don't even know what it is. And this Star Wars one. Remember Kylo Ren? I forget why I got it. Maybe it had a BB-8 or something. Or these Star Wars battle packs. I just got them for the minifigs. I have a Nexo Knight set, which I guess I don't really need. I only got it because I thought I'd see what Nexo Knights were all about, but I never did. I do have these Lego retail store sets I got from a grand opening of a Lego store. I have extras as collectibles, which I guess I could see myself selling at some point. I already have a complete set for myself to keep, so I suppose any duplicates I have wouldn't be too hard to part with, but I'll be holding on to these for a while. Then we've got all these random sets around decorating the Lego room. I'm not going to get rid of them, but maybe I should put some of them away. I think the Jurassic Park gate is definitely a keeper, and I like the castle even though I wasn't as into castle theme as you were as a kid. I guess I like the simplicity of it, and it keeps my LEGO collection grounded, since so much of my collection consists of large license sets like Stranger Things, Jurassic Park, Minecraft, and even Angry Birds. Yes, Angry Birds. I guess I can pack that one up. I like the Ziploc storage method because it keeps all the pieces of a set together, which makes rebuilding easy. But what do I do about a set like this? I don't think they make Ziploc bags that size. Any suggestions? I do have some loose Legos to put up too. I didn't really do a good job of keeping to my sorting system. Maybe I'll have to dump everything into a big tub and reorganize later. Anyway, spring cleaning is my intention, whether spring actually comes or not. So maybe I'll tidy this place up a bit and store some of my sets. Or maybe not. Life's unpredictable like that. See you soon. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and all that. You can also support the channel and get cool Lego-y perks on our Patreon, like a random minifigure each month or your name in the credits.